Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and obviously, if you couldn't tell, I just came back from seeing Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok is a 2017 film that was directed by Taika Waititi, and the plot is, you see Thor. Thor has got himself in quite a bit of a mess. He has all of these villains and creatures coming after him. But more importantly, Hela. Hela is coming for Asgard, coming to take it over, coming to just take over everything. Thor has to stop her, but he needs help. He needs to round up a team. He goes off and finds Hulk, which now we finally get to see where the Hulk's been for these years. You have Valkyrie, a brand new character, and even his estranged, not so trustworthy brother, Loki. Now, what I thought of Thor Ragnarok was, I gotta be honest, I really enjoyed this movie. I did. I had a whole lot of fun, but that's the key word, fun. I know that... Uh, Reviews for this movie have been out for a little while, and people have been talking about it. Lots of good, some maybe not so positive, and I want to address that because I don't want to talk about spoilers. I just want to say that I love the comedy that was in this movie. It was fun, but even the action, the special effects, the CGI, it was gorgeous to look at. The fact that we hardly saw Earth, we spent more time in the cosmic universe, Asgard, or all these different realms, and just seeing the different designs of these aliens and, and planets. That's what we've wanted from a Thor movie, something different, something fresh. And I think you get that here. But I did see some people complain about the humor, that either there was too much humor or that not all of the humor worked for them. And look, humor is subjective. Some people will watch this movie and think it's too jokey, it's too goofy, it's not taking Ragnarok, the end of the world, that definition of Ragnarok, it's not taking it seriously enough. And fine, fine, I might be able to understand those complaints, but Sometimes you just want to have fun. Sometimes, look at some of these characters. Look at how out there some of them are. The names of them. The designs of them. The fact that this movie has Surtur in it. Or Korg. Characters that you're like, we'll never see that in a movie. You'll never see any director try to make them look like the comic book counterparts. But this movie does. This movie does embrace the comic book aspects of Thor and Marvel. Chris Hemsworth, for example, as Thor, he was hilarious. Seeing him take this character in a more comedic route, and sure, he has his badass moments, his tough moments, but look at that short that came after Captain America Civil War that showed what Thor was doing during, during that movie, and he was funny. He was, and it was a personality, it was a side to him that you never quite saw in the movies and some people were like we want to see that in a movie and that's what you got here again not taking itself so seriously Kate Blanchett as Hela was great she one scene in particular where she shows how much of a badass she is and how threatening she can be by herself taking on this army by herself she was great getting an actress of her caliber to play a villain like that and how she has the horns look and she really does look like Hela straight from the comic books. And you bought that she was a big time foe for Thor himself. Tessa Thompson as Valkyrie, I enjoy too. It's interesting to throw in a brand new character into this movie that you want to see how she's going to fit in, how she's going to play out. Mark Ruffalo as Hulk as Bruce Banner was great as well. He's one of those characters that they're never gonna do, at least not anytime soon, a Hulk standalone movie. So whenever you can fit him into a movie, whenever you can work him into a story and have him have his own subplot going on, was great seeing Hulk at a level where he is talking more, where he does seem more conscious of himself and has more of a personality. I enjoyed that. They somehow made Hulk funny without making him a joke and still make like the scene where he fights Thor in that Coliseum. It's great. Tom Hiddleston as Loki. He's one of the best parts of any Thor movie, really, let's be honest. He's great. But I love how they constantly walk the line with him. 
yeah, he wants to be good. People love him, so they want to try to make him a good guy. But they also make him still a villain or still somebody that you don't know if you can trust. Uh, Idris Elba. I was amazed to see him back as Heimdall and that they actually gave him some cool moments, some cool stuff to do. Carl Urban as the executioner, I thought was great. And Jeff Goldblum as the grandmaster. He's, he's a little weird. He's a little out there, but I still thought it was interesting. I really enjoyed this film. Is it going to be for everybody? Maybe not, but if you're... If you love the Marvel movies, if you already love the Marvel movies, if you like Thor as a character, sure, it's weird to see Thor with short hair now. I had to get used to that. But this movie, there's so much good going on for it. I highly recommend Thor Ragnarok. I'm going to give it a full price. Let me know in the comments below if you intend on seeing Thor Ragnarok. If you did see it, what did you think of it? Did you like it as much as I did? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!